For nearly a decade, Aiden Foy has been coming here to St. Vincent's to drop off book donations to the pediatric unit. It's a small gesture, but one they say makes a huge impact. Sweet. Aiden Foy isn't like your average kid. I felt like I wanted to do something for somebody. Like I wasn't doing enough, so I wanted to do something that impacted a lot of people. Those were the thoughts running through his mind at age eight. And then Foy came up with an idea. I always thought, well, when I don't feel good, I like to read. So I was like, well, kids in the hospital are an awesome way to do it. His idea was to collect books and travel the nearly 400 miles from his home in Peerless, Montana, located near the Canadian border, and donate them to the pediatric unit at St. Vincent's. I thought it was wonderful, right? It wasn't out of the ordinary for him to want to give books to others because he realized the value of books and wanted to share that with kids his age, older and younger. Perhaps not out of the ordinary for Aiden, but definitely not something that would be on the mind of a typical eight-year-old. I don't know another eight-year-old that comes close to doing what, what he does. St. Vincent's chaplain John Jameson has blessed the books every time they make a donation. Foy, now 17, has done it every year but one since 2014. And Jameson has been there every time. He's, he's matured mentally, spiritually. Uh, he, uh, we refer to him as a kid. He's not a kid. He, he's a young man. And, uh, and he's going to do wonderful things in the world. And it isn't just Aiden that has grown. The first year, 76 books were donated. And this year, a whopping 619 were collected. Oh, I never thought I'd get this big. I'm really glad I did. This year's donation came with a first for Aiden, though, who plans to become a pilot and got his chance to fly the plane loaded up with books. With the weight of the books and me and my flight instructor, it was 80 pounds under the max, so it was kind of rocky when we were loading them all up. So many books that mom flew separate. A trip made worth it for moments like these. I can't even describe it. It's amazing. It's the most fulfilling happiness you can feel. In Billings, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.